Wondering how you could potentially buy a property with literally zero money out of pocket out here in Hawaii? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you could potentially do that, especially in this market. So make sure you stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. All right, guys, like I mentioned in this video, we're gonna go over how you could potentially buy a property out here in Hawaii with literally zero money. I mean zero money out of your pocket. This is a product called the VA No-No Loan. Now, before we jump into all the details of that VA No-No Loan, let me quickly introduce myself. If this is your first time here. My name is Patrick Long. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Hawaii and have been for nearly a decade helping service members like yourself when it comes to buying, selling, and investing. Now, if you guys have any questions about real estate or just want to talk story, I've got my contact information right here, or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. With that being said, let's jump into the VA No-No Loan and how you could potentially buy a property out here with literally no money. So let's jump into it. Now let's jump into how to actually purchase a property with no money out of pocket. Now the first step is you have to understand that you are going to qualify for a VA loan. So that means you're either active duty or you're a vet and you are going to leverage that VA loan. That's going to be the first part of the no of the no, no loan. You are going to have no down payment because you're using the VA loan. Now, when it comes to the VA loan, it's a common misconception that, oh, the VA loan, I don't have to come any money out of pocket at all. That's incorrect. And that's where this other portion comes in. Generally, you have a funding fee and you also have closing costs. And these are things you're going to have to bring to the table. And that means there's going to be cash that's going to have to come out of your pocket. So that's the general standard way of purchasing a home with a VA loan, zero down payment, which is still stellar and amazing because general civilians need to put three and a half, five, 10 or 25% down. And with the VA loan, you put zero down, but we still have that funding fee and that closing cost. So let's move into that. So the first expense is the funding fee. Now the funding fee is generally somewhere between two and 3% depends on when you're watching this video and where the funding fee is at. And there are certain ways where you can get that VA funding funding fee exempt, but let's just say that you do have that VA funding fee. What you can do is you can roll that VA funding fee into your loan. So you don't have to come out of pocket to pay that two or 3% of the loan. So that takes care of the funding fee. Now, the next thing we need to worry about is the closing cost. Now on average, the closing cost is generally about one and a half percent of the purchase price. So if you're looking to purchase a $500,000 condo, you can expect about a $7,500 that you would have to bring to the table for closing costs. So we still have the $7,500 we need to take care of and possibly get off your bottom line so that you can pay zero money for this property. Now, how do we do that? Now to not pay the 7,500, you need to have somebody pay for it. So fortunately in this market that we're in right now, we are in somewhat of a balanced or a downturn market where sellers are getting a little bit more desperate. Properties are sitting for longer and there's opportunities where you could potentially get seller's credit. And this is exactly what you would do is you would have your real estate agent first find a property that's been on the market for a minimum of 30 days or more, which tends to be the time when sellers are open to lower offers or even offering up seller's credit. And you would have your realtor negotiate getting at least 7,500 or at least one and a half percent of the purchase price in the form of seller's credit. And then you can use that seller's credit to either do a buy down or if we wanna facilitate having no money out of pocket, have it cover the closing cost. And I'm telling you guys, I've had multiple clients this year purchase a property with little to no money. I'm talking having to show up to the table with maybe $20 or no money, or in some situations, they actually have extra money that they have that they can put towards HOA fees in the future or paying off their credit cards. I've literally had a transaction that just closed where we had an extra 1900 bucks and the client didn't have to show up with any money and we just paid off his credit cards. So this is definitely doable in this market. And if you wanna learn more about it, by all means, reach out to me. I've got my contact information right here. Or once again, you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. Now, if you got any value out of this video, if you do me a huge favor, smash that like button as well as click the subscribe and notification bell so you can notify whenever I drop videos just like this. And if you wanna learn more about the VA process, check out a couple of these videos where it goes through the VA home checklist and a couple other beneficial videos for you VA out there moving out to Hawaii. With that being said, I'm Patrick, Patrick Kalani, Realty.com, powered by eXp Realty. Hope you have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.